What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another double header, guys. 40 boxes of 2023 Bowman Chrome Mega. Remember, this is a dual case break. Pick your team number three. And again, guys, last two uh, cases we have here, guys. No more of this Mega. Did a couple here, as you can see, on YouTube. Did a couple on Fanatics Live. So, officially, officially done with it after this. I think still have some available for for uh, sale in our store though, but no more group breaking wise. Now again, if you go on the team uh, from that filler, you have a little character sign at the end of your name. Oh yeah, thank you. I couldn't find a knife either, but I think Joe took his. So what happened to the other two knives? I don't know. That's what I'm saying, dude. Obviously, we have 20. So I have two right there, but then the rest are all up there, guys. And again, guys, I mean, I know it's going to be kind of a little bit, I guess you can call it boring, but remember, we're going to rip all the base packs first. Now, the base packs literally only have base cards and base rookies, so no chances of colors there first or anything like that. The nicer stuff, well, your stuff you're really chasing, are hiding in those two Bobin Mega Packs, which have five cards a pack. So, obviously, in 20 boxes, you're going to get 40 packs in a case. We're going to put those over here to my left. You can see them on the top camera right there. But, like I said, it'll be pretty quick though. We'll rip through and go through the base and then... After that, move on to the next case.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, this is the last box here, and then we're gonna rip these ten packs. What's up, Jeremy? How you doing, buddy? Alright, so that's ten boxes right here of base packs, guys. Awesome, man. Well, yeah, I've had a little easier day today. Not too many crazy breaks so far, but... And by crazy, I just mean, like, long ones, but... We did have some monster hits pulled already in our first couple of breaks, so... Hopefully we can keep that going. First break, we did Gilded of the Day. Hit a nice Corbin Carroll to 25 autograph. Second break, we did Flawless. Hit a Quad Eagles Shield 101. You know? So, although there actually have been crazy breaks, just nothing super, super long, I guess. Up until this one, I guess. Yeah, dude, I was freaking out, man. I, uh, first of all, they didn't expect it to be a shield. They didn't expect it to be a dual shield. And then also they didn't expect it to be a quad shield when I turned it around. I was just about to read if it was like a game used one, but. When I turn it around, I'm like, holy shaggies! It's quad! Oh, easily. It's probably one of my top five in my top five. That one definitely caught me off guard, though, for sure. And I got a figure to a big Eagles collector. That's easily... Right? Over 5k? It has to be more, right? I mean, we're talking Jalen Hurts on there. Then you're going to add AJ Brown, who's already an Eagles legend. You're going to add Devontae Smith, who had a monster year last year. And yeah, even though he's not on the Eagles anymore, Miles Sanders had like one of the better rushing years since like Shady McCoy. Those were literally the top four performers in the Eagles offense last year. So, I mean, man, that, I'm, I'm maybe on lowballing you. That shield got to be over 10,000, probably. I mean, I figure a Jalen Hurts shield by itself sells probably pretty well, but quad shield? I mean, that's definitely going to go to an Eagles collector. Well, Sean won, and I know he doesn't like, he probably doesn't like the Eagles, but he'll love that one, though. And he could definitely turn that into a 49ers card, though, if he decides to sell it. I wish I could afford something like that. I'd snack it, snag it off his hands, but... Unfortunately, I do not. Unless he wants, like, a $1,000 chet that I have, rookie ticket, then... <laughs> we could trade. I'll trade my chet for the quad auto. Or quad uh, shield. <laughs> well, they're not that rich. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of rich Eagles fans. As there is not, as there is one poor ones probably. I mean, I don't know, man. Eagles fans travel really well. You should have seen how many Eagles fans flew in from Philly to the Brams game a couple weeks ago when we went. It was definitely over 60%, 70% Eagle fans that game. And a lot of them flying in from Philly. All right, so let's go through the base packs, guys. Again, I'm just going to skim through it as quickly as possible. I'm just going to sleeve up a couple of the top rookies like Corbin, my Adley, Fulby, etc. Because they're just base cards. Oh, yeah, 
where, where are you at, Jeremy? <clears throat> I mean, I can always stalk you in the background, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So, uh, such PA. So, who, who do you root for? Do you root for any any Philly teams, or are you st more New York? So, Mets, maybe Giants, Jets, or Steelers fan? Probably hate Philly fans, right? <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, probably don't like the Phillies. Probably don't like the Eagles. It's all good. Question, are you, Jeremy? I'd assume so. I'd assume you should be able to find them in retail stores like Target, Walmart, whatever. <clears throat> Usually, it, it, it pops up there first, and then us, we get them like weeks after the release. So yeah, I'd assume you can. I think these go for like 44 bucks. There you go, easy, yeah. Easy say, I saw these on my local Target. They're actually not bad. I mean, obviously, it seems like the last two years of retail, has it's been pretty fire. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but someone hit, I've seen uh, a Super Fractor, one of one of who, uh, I forgot what player it was out of these, for like 40, or out of a Blaster or Mega or something like that. I was just like, damn. So, I mean, retail has been fire. It's just obviously, you're not guaranteed anything, but... There's been a lot of big hits popping out of retail I've seen. Yeah, 45 bucks, right? Yeah, I think that's how much we have it in the store for, too. I think 40 or 45 bucks. I remember retail at one point was really bad, but... See, I, 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 I like that. I like when the retail's fire, because obviously... Uh, you should be able to get the same you should be able to get opportunities to pull the biggest hits out of any product that they make whether it's retail hobby first off the line you know etc but don't get me wrong I do feel the frust frustration though for the people that buy hobby exclusive or like you know the really expensive hobby boxes when they could easily have bought in one of these boxes and pulled the same card you know so I mean I get when people get mad about that when you find like the biggest hits in a retail box because at that point, then you would have never bought Hobby. But I think just to make it fair, you have to kind of just scatter them around, you know? But I get it. I get the frustration, though, sometimes.
All right, guys, let's sell out that guild the next, guys, if it hasn't sold out already. We were down to five the last time I checked. That would be a fun break to, to do tonight, too, guys. Now, no orders. Guild is halfway through, guys. You own a piece of a couple big teams for only 60 plus bucks. It's our last case of Gilded we have in stock for today. I hear we are gonna get more guys, but just know that it's gonna be at a higher price point. I think our price went up substantially too, so you know I don't think it'll be I don't think it's gonna be worse than other people out there, but whatever it's actually going for now is probably what we're gonna have to be charging because we were charging a really solid price for a box for gilded, so Let's end off that last case tonight. So these should be all the base packs here from the first case. For a second I blanked there, I'm like, wow, I did this case, these two cases in record time. But then I just realized like, dope, it's actually only one case. All right, again, we're gonna skim through the base really quick, guys.
Alrighty guys, so there you go, that's all the base packs. Now let's have some fun and rip all the mega backs. Let's see what we can get you guys here. So usually in a 20 box case we hit four to five autographs. But uh, we'll see how many we get here. I think last time we had like six.
guys there we go conclusion of the first case guys all the mega packs all the stuff you do want to try to get a hit of so here we go first one wow look at that jesus cava he's one of the top prospects there for the phillies that's a purple 249 at 299 phillies straight up eric actually not straight straight up from a filler Just Kava again. Kava again. Iconic green of Fernando Tatis Jr. Number to 99. Uh, that's White Sox. Uh, going to David. Brandon Maia. Francesca. Duna. And we got a Riley Green for Detroit Blue. Number to 150. Right, come on, where's our first auto? Guanipa. Blaze Jordan. Bradley Guerrero. And nice. Diamondbacks Drew Jones. Ascension case hit. Diamondbacks winner Frank. Justin Crawford. For the Phillies to 189. Feldman. I know no autograph in that. Almost first half of the Mega Boxes. What's up with that? Camila Diaz, Rayleigh Guerrero, Yo Andrew Vargas, Rainer Reyes, Ariel Castro, there's an Ethan Salas. Jet Williams, wow, there's no autographs yet, this is weird. Out of 299. Valdez to 2.99. There's our first autograph, Mikey Romero. Uh, it's the Red Sox going to uh, John. Sebastian Walcott, Shim. And. Dan George for the Colorado Rockies. That's Jeremy Port. Nice, Sebastian Walcott. That's a nice purple there for Texas. Rangers, DY. Really Guerrero. A yellow Angel Cepeda. 
So say so wild card draw was telling me about I'm gonna get a box cider, but tomorrow when I get into the mosaic pack. Right. You know, got your plans already? And Henry Bolt. All right, all the autographs are just hiding at the end, I guess. For the AIDS. Kev with that one. Much, man. And we got Elijah Green. Out of 150. And Samuel Zavala. Ethan Salas. Green Arise. There you go. All right, so we had all these colors here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with that one there, and then 10 with the Jesus Cabos. Usually one in every other box has a numbered card. And of course, a couple solids there. We got Zavala Auto, Bolt, uh, George, Romero, and then the case hit Drew Jones. So this one actually ended up having about four autos. So kind of on average, actually, four to six, usually four to five, actually. Felt like they weren't ever gonna pop out though. All right, guys. Let me go back here and get the other case. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, so the third one will be a mixer, the other half's gonna be a half table? Yeah. That's cool. But I just feel like that half, the half case is so... It just sells easy. Yeah. It's just, he tries to get rid of other stuff at the same time. Guys, yeah, that's what I see today in the morning. A lot of people have been doing one box heels in and one box of something they haven't been able to sell. Yeah. It's like, I get it obviously, but we just start building, we just mow through it with those half cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I even work good with the jerseys and baseballs. Yeah. Like this one, there was no way we were going to do this break if I didn't go on baseball. You yeah. know. Fall is baseball sold out? Oh, yeah. This guy what? His name is so so card. He bought like like five spots in every that we that we had posted. Nice. Even the R&Bs? No. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, that's that great. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you, when you do a... Uh, oh shit, the wrong pack. Not supposed to open this. Uh -huh. When you do the pick your teams on here, the, the teams are not alphabetical. Yeah, it, it fucking drives me nuts. Alright, sorry, I opened up a mega pack, guys, but we'll save it for last, or... I guess I can go through it here. Really quickly. This one had an auto, William Borgala. So one autograph down. I thought there were base pads for a second. So, we'll go through that one, but obviously the rest, we'll leave them until we finish all the base. All right, starting the first 10 base packs. 10 boxes of base packs. Nice. Well, this is awesome. Is it a fresh case too? I thought I only did half of one here, so yeah, but maybe I didn't. Nice. Here, guys. What is the mixture you guys are doing? Three boxes of what? And then what? It's a box of gilded, box of breakers, of like top screw, and a box of jumbo crush. Oh, okay. So then that would be the last box of the first half, huh? Yeah. Gotcha. The third one I posted. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last little stack here. Remember, it's just base cards, guys.
Yeah, which one the... Jake. I always get them confused. The white one or the darker one? Yeah, those ones are cool. I mean, Joe, Joe Tapai might have talked to them a little more than I have, but they've been on just as long as we have. Yeah, I, uh, I actually, I met them at the National. Yeah. And then when I was at the, when I was at the casino, I was sitting at the blackjack table with them. And this is like right both like a few days before the next last game last so. Oh shit, nice. Alright, five more boxes to rip guys and we'll go with the base packs and then end off with the mega packs. box here guys and then we will rip the base packs
There's definitely worse out there. I wish they would have put at least first base in here. But the Mega Packs is what you want anyways. Sweet, got a couple orders that came in. Ryan got to the university and got into the Gilded RMB. Sweet. Gilded RMB is now down to four. That's the next break we can do next, guys. Get that rolling. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go with the base packs. And again, just pulling out the top rookies. Fortunately, nothing else in there minus the base. So I'm going to kind of quickly just skim through it.
All right, guys, here we go. So again, I did rip one retail pack earlier by accident of the Borgala Auto for Philly, which is going to Eric. Now here's the rest of them. So again, on average, get around four to six autos. We got four in the last one, so let's see if we can top that. Let's see if we get some better autographs too. I feel like definitely could have got better. Every case has been a lot different, so it just depends on the case. And then look for at least like 10 number packs. So we get like 10 numbered cards. Here we go. Feldman and then David McCabe autographed there for Atlanta. Frank with that one. Francisca, Guerrero, and Rafaela for the Red Sox. Red Sox is John. Andrew Vargas. And Roderick Arias. To one ninety nine. And Jeremy Benny iconic for the Astros. Going to Scott to ninety nine. And nice, Ethan Salas purple. Let's take that. Out of two ninety nine. That's a Robert Uncle with the Padres. Felon. Another Felon. And we got Xavier Isaac. 
Brandon Maia, Spencer Jones. <laughs> Sean, what's going on, man, dude? That was that was crazy, man. That's that was that's one of my all-time favorite pulls right there, man. I uh, was so excited. I said dual signatures, not dual quad in the beginning. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> But uh, I was even more surprised when I turned it around because I was just trying to see if it was game used and then I was like, whoa, whoa! <laughs> the back of it had two more shields. So that's crazy, man. Congrats. One left, guys. One team left. Yeah, it was definitely meant to be for me to pull that for one of you guys. And we got Darnich Valdez. Oh, you know what? I forgot about that Ritter. I thought there would be more, a better rookie on this side. I was actually advertising it wrong. But I forgot about the Ritter, actually. Paulino. And I guess he would have been like a top hit, right? So. But yeah, I think this is our first time we pulled a shield here in this flawless this year, finally. It's been a while. Edwin Solano. Out of 99. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what you were doing? <laughs> I thought I seen something. <laughs> but I thought I seen something for a second and then I seen like you were really walking over there. I was tripping balls for a second. And Sean finally seen the card. <laughs> Yeah, I just bought 16 spots in the next place. <laughs> <laughs> and nice, Samuel Munoz for the Dodgers. Let's go to Sportport. Rainer Arias. True. I think maybe that's why I, I was figuring like a patch autograph rookie on this side, but. Yeah, we'll take that all day. If we're gonna get shields, especially like duels or quad shields, I mean, we'll take that all day. <clears throat> the question is though, what is that worth? That's what somebody was asking earlier. And I don't know, am I lowballing it too much? Is it like five? I mean, I, I feel like it's gotta be like a $10,000 card. I mean, five just seems too little because you're basically valuing each shield at like 1200 bucks. You gotta assume a, a Jalen Hurts shield by itself has to be a couple thousand, right? But obviously whoever buys that shield, if you sell it, it, it probably is going to a big Eagles fan, so. I mean, I don't know. I, I gotta figure it's more than five, but could it get more than 10? Solano again for 299. You dumped to one and no one's buying it? Nice, and another Sebastian Walcott. I don't know, but there's previous... You know what? I gotta look now. I wonder if there's similar comps to that. And there might have been a similar quad for another team or an Eagles quad from the previous year. But obviously, you know what, though? I mean, think about it. I was just telling, I was telling my wife about that. Because she's like, why did they put Miles Sanders in there? They should have put, like, the other receiver. I'm like, no, but you have to understand, like, if, this is, if they're reflecting on 2022 season... AJ Brown was an MVP type player, right? Sammy Munoz. AJ Brown led their Eagles in, in receiving and also obviously set the franchise record in receiving yards in a season. Devontae had over 1,200 receiving yards. And then Miles Sanders had like over 1,300 rushing yards. So that, that was the big four for them on offense. So, I mean, you got to figure historically, I mean, that's a pretty nice car to have. By the way, I feel like it's, I don't know. I, like I'm not trying to lowball it, but I feel like I'm undervaluing it. it. It's probably more than I even think. Alrighty, guys. So on this half, one, two, three, four, five autographs with a Solace color and Sebastian Walcott color. 
And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors here. So I appreciate it, guys. That was the break. Again, obviously, like I said, uh, don't have any more to post up, but hopefully soon we get some more, guys. So appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.